Thanks for joining us for another episode of Retail Wargames. Today, we sit down with Roxanne Bennett, CEO of Penner's Conference. We're a baseball family, so we do baseball. We're excited about the new hockey thing. Hockey's fun. I mean, we really like all of it. We're Chiefs fans. My son served his mission in in Kansas City. So we go out before when they sucked. Like, we've been committed oh, so committed. now we're so not like the championship we're not like swifty people who yeah. just suddenly joined <laughs> yeah, but we're like ones. legit so any country music sing uh, not singer but listen you, you like to listen to country music i would say that i'm less my husband's very music and he likes all kinds of music but if i were to pick then i would pick country music but did you go to the era's tour um no but i did see the movie it's good I didn't I go. Think, yeah, I had tickets and couldn't go because we had a pinners that weekend. Oh, dang so. it. <laughs> I really go to lots of things. I'm like... Yeah. Isn't that your genre? Aren't you a country? Well, I would go to... I wouldn't I mean, say I would, Taylor Swift is country anymore, is she? No, she's not. No. She, she bailed. I used to like Taylor, and but, then she bailed, and then I was yeah. going to not like her. But I think she's... Um, she's coming back in a better way. She is a businesswoman. At the core, totally. Yeah, that's, so, that's so She's I doing appreciate. Really awesome I things. appreciate artists and talent and period. Like mm-hmm. I think that's a skill, yeah. and that's learned, and you have to be strategic. And I think she is that. Like Lady Gaga, I think is also like a brand. Mm-hmm. Do I mean like she's committed to her brand? I feel like a lot of them are starting, like even Katy Perry, like with her shoes and everything. Like right, she has a whole thing. My son, my one son who doesn't live here is a lawyer in L.A. and she's one of their clients. Oh, oh really? Right. So That's cool. Katy Perry randomly shows up, and she brings all of her dogs. Is oh, she cool? Random. Is she At nice in person? He says she's fine. I mean, okay. but you know. I've been watching American Idol recently yeah, this yeah. season, and I'm like, I love her. I yeah, think she's yeah. so cool. Yeah, oh, they're busy. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be, but I like her. Like, I watch it, and I'm I like, like, she's I watched, so cool. I like the documentary, you know, the documentary that they did it. of her years oh. ago. It's great. I love the, I all that it. kind of thing. It feels like every Talent. musician is now doing, like, a country album. Did you hear that? Well, Beyonce. Well, Beyonce, and Beyonce but there's, there's now Post Malone. Yeah, there's a bunch of them coming on. <laughs> They're trying. Yeah. You know, you got to appeal to all. Yeah. It's kind of cool because that's like, base. that's, like, my default genre. I mean, obviously, like. I have other art, like John Mayer is my main go-to, but do, I mean, I feel like I live out in kind of out in the mountains. I can yeah, listen you to, do. to country. Yeah. Yep. Well, and now you're wanting to be a farmer. Really? You are a farmer. Yeah. You can't be a farmer in Woodland Hills. The deer will eat your farm. I would be a farmer down in Benjamin. I'm like, you are not going to be a farmer. <laughs> yeah, they will the eat them and they will destroy them. <laughs> they will ruin your vegetation. They are literally, I'm not kidding you. I don't know what happened with the deer the last few years, but. There's literally probably like 200 of them now. It's a nightmare. It is a nightmare. They're, they're, literally, they're just There's spawning. literally one per home. <laughs> I mean, you shouldn't, hopefully this is not on the podcast, but yeah, deer are rodents. They're like little, they're a nightmare. They're, I have a little BB gun on our back porch where we just. Oh, you <laughs> knock them down. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't hurt them. We're just trying yeah. to get them out. Scare the them word. away. Get away, rodents. Yeah. But yeah. those elk are awesome. Just, yeah, the elk, the elk are, are gorgeous down by the mailboxes. Yeah, they're impressive. Yeah, they, yeah. Are, they are gorgeous. It's a perfect place to live. It's a hidden secret. So you should have been, uh, were you an athlete or were you, did you play? Um, I played basketball in high school. Oh, what My, position? Um, the one who could foul out all the time. Oh, that was me. <laughs> you're the hack Yeah. Oh, I'm cool. short, so. Yeah, that's, guard. that's good. Guard, yeah. Um, Guards are good. Anyway, where'd you go to high school? I, in Idaho. Okay, so you're from Idaho. Yeah. And then I you moved to Idaho. Utah when? When, just for college, and we just never left. And that's where it's you met your husband. It's not nearly as windy here nice or like it's cold it. maybe so yeah. you have a pretty fascinating background like talking about you know benefit of events which is now i don't know if it's, if that's if pinners is owned by that or pinners is a different company but your pinners event that you have is unbelievable thank you i mean we've been to i don't know i, I think i've been to every single one of them wow. like that's, how, that's how i feel you're committed like no, jeremy I'm, I'm totally i didn't committed. and we haven't even been friends yet so i know I'm isn't that weird shocking. no I'm, I'm like a natural fan of pinners there you go like, i mean i'm just like i don't know but i absolutely love it um in fact it's i've been going there for years and so many of the our favorite brands that that you know also go there like mm-hmm. kodiak cakes and there's uh, what's that one really cute bow tie 
for little boys. I don't know if you know that brand. Boon ties. Boon ties. Yeah. Yes. They got so many yes. like really cool brands. But this yeah. is the crazy part about retail is, and why I'm such a big fan of Pinners, is all the B2B platform trade shows. Right. Those all really struggle because the retail buyers, the main ones, don't go to it. Right. But these these consumer shows. Right. I mean, every brand I talk to is like, oh yeah, we just sold. Thirty thousand dollars over the weekend at Pinners. It has a and whole like, it is, different it's very, energy. It's very different. Yeah, right. But how did you get started? What's so the background? Really, honestly, we just felt like there was an, a hole in the market. So we started um, Utah Valley Magazine with my sister-in-law and oh, brother-in-law, cool. yeah. and we were kind of in that space. That was our genre that we started, and we basically started doing a couple events. So Matt and Jeanette were over all of the editorial and we were over the sales and marketing side of that. And Is it Jeanette Bennett? Jeanette Bennett. Oh, she's my sister. How did we I didn't not know that. put this together? I was just sitting here thinking, wait. Jeanette's she, my sister-in-law. She co-hosts Hello. here. So, okay. yeah, so we, we started it together. That makes like sense. Like in the very beginning. <laughs> and then we stuff. started doing events because that was part of our thing. And yeah. so basically when we started Business Q, there was a business event that we went to and we thought it was crappy. And so Kendall and I, on our side of the company, we just decided, hey, we'll take that over and we'll do a business to business show like oh, B2B yeah. like you talked about. And then we added in with the yeah. Realtors Association, we started doing a home show yep. for Utah County that yep. was Utah County focused. And then we had a few women's shows. And then I was so busy with all of our events and we were trying to grow the magazines and I had little kids at the time. Yeah. And I think there's a point in everyone's career or whatever you're doing where you've got to kind of like step back and prioritize. So we were about 10 years into the magazine and my youngest was turning 10. And so I was now had you know, a kid who was heading into high school yeah, and I just couldn't do it all. Yeah. So that's when we basically stepped away from the magazines. We still own the building and stuff together. And I decided, Hey, I gotta, we gotta do something different. And we just decided to go all in on the events. And in that process, we thought, where is, we're good at this. We know what we're doing, that's right. but where is the hole? And it was and Pinterest. Well, what, right? what we found, media. yeah, it was like there was nothing that was available for the retailer, the wholesaler, the consumer, right. and the influencer all together. There's okay, nothing out there for true. consumers to learn that isn't super expensive. That's right. Like if you go to a conference, you're paying, I mean, even random people who are like, oh, I'm going to host this for two hours and they're charging like yeah. 400 bucks. That's crazy to me yeah. when there's so many consumers who really are the drivers of every retail brand. Your consumer is your influencer. That's right. Mm -hmm. They really are. People oh, yeah. trust their friend way more than they trust anybody else. That's and right. so we just wanted to do something. We didn't know if it would work. We didn't actually know how hard it was. I tell young entrepreneurs this all the time. It's better that you don't know. Yeah. Just go for it because yeah. you'll learn all the things you need to learn as you go. And sometimes if you knew what you know now, you might never have even tried. Totally. Well, one of the things that I super appreciate about Pinners is there's so many, like starting a business, like a, a new retail brand, it feels like almost everybody's taking from you monetarily, right? Right. And it is so hard to get it going. But Pinners is one of the very, very few B2C shows or anything for that matter that actually gives you more than you're giving it. And like, and that's not only on how many people you're educating at the platform, but the connections you make with, with influencers, with how much product you're selling over the weekend, it's absolutely an incredible show. So now you're in seven, seven states. cities. Seven yeah, cities. and honestly, our our purpose is for these consumers to come and have an experience. They can take up to 108 classes taught on popular Pinterest trends in yep. every city. Oh, I mean, probably 130 here in Utah, but in all the markets, at least 108. And then over, you know, in the Salt Lake City show, there's over 600 great retail. Everything has to be retail, cash and carry. We don't really want any right. service companies in there. Nope. It's just got to be where people can find the latest and greatest. If you're scrolling through your feed, um, lots of times people might be great at marketing to you. Yeah. 
you know, and they might have a good ad, but then you get that product and you're like, oh, yeah, what? The heck this is, is this? not good. I'm not excited about this. That's or, right. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. But this gives you the opportunity to connect face to face with your brands yeah. and really test out these products. It's I think that my biggest complaint about pinners is there's it seems like there's no parking. <laughs> oh, good news. Good news. This year we're adding a third day. Oh, you are? Tickets okay, go on that's sale. Smart. Um, and we what are the have, dates for this year? This year, it's October 25th and 26th. We're always first weekend of November, okay. normally. Yeah. And, but we had a scheduling snafu, so we are October 25th and 26th. I'm glad you're doing that. 24th, 25th, 26th. So we'll have Thursday. We'll just be a shopping day only. People no can, classes. No classes, oh, only shopping. I love that, yeah. It'll be like a preview, so people who are really wanting to make sure that they're getting, yeah. you know, the best of the inventory. I, I've, seen, I've seen a lot of, like, we, obviously on this pod, we, we talked to all the, you know, the, the biggest brands in Utah, but I've seen a lot of them come out of Pinners, which is really interesting. Right. And it's, it's been kind of, I mean, it's been really kind of fun to watch them grow and mature. And I'm sure there's some brands that you've kind of had your eye on. You're like, that's actually a really good concept. Or these guys, this is, you know, they've got the human capital to make something happen. But in each state, you probably are, you know. I think it's just interesting to figure out what, what might fly. And I really think that it boils down to the commitment of that entrepreneur. Yeah. You know, sometimes we think our idea is really good and it might not be. Yeah, that's right. Or sometimes you might have a really good idea, but you're not committed yep. to figuring out how to market. Yep. Or, um, and there, I think there's just all sorts of things that go in to an explosive retail situation. I agree. Um, and I don't think, I think sometimes brands think, oh, I have to be like this big influencer to make that happen. But that is not actually true. That's right. I think if you create something that is a really good product, people are going to buy that from you and they're going to love it. Especially if like what you're talking about, you're a good executor. Like I know that's kind of the VC mentality is like, we're going to bet on the horse, which is basically the person, not the jockey, which is the brand, right? The people are the ones that are moving it. And that's why you see like so many, I mean, obviously the extreme example is Elon Musk, right? Right. It's like, I don't care what you come up with. It's going to make a substantial amount of money. And that's what you find, I think, with entrepreneurs is just repeat successes. We had uh, a, a guest on here last week who had built six SaaS companies and six exits. And I just thought, man, alive, what are you doing? Like, but that's so but that's, rare, honestly. Yeah. Because sometimes I have, um, we hired a marketing consultant yeah. um, who's just a genius on, with online marketing. And we've actually doubled our numbers in Kansas City at our Kansas City event. And we've, you know, we're trying to on figure out. On the end consumer side or on the brand side coming? On for consumers coming. No way. And, oh. and so the idea is, and we were talking to him about this theory yeah. that maybe there are some serial entrepreneurs who are yeah. fantastic and they can come up with an idea and they can come up with another one. And they're the rare commodity because yep. a lot of times an entrepreneur might think that they are that, yeah. right? So I'm going to exit this and then I'm going to do another one. But what they do is they pour all this money into their next brand that their idea might not be actually good. Yeah. But now they have money, which is a formula for disaster, yeah, right? Because true you might throw money at something that might not be actually try to force it to be successful quality idea. That's right. So if, if this is just a theory, if you can figure out a way just to create a cash cow out of the business that you know that somehow the stars aligned for you. Yeah. Right. Like you had a good idea. You pulled in the right people. That's you right. were at the right time at the right place. And I think, Sometimes that's the majority of us entrepreneurs. Mm. I had the right idea at the right time. That's right. And right climate. The right, I was, yeah. yes, and I'm with the, and I have the right group of people, and I've grown it. So w when did you find out where you're like, okay, I actually, I know that I have, this Pinners Conference is going to be a thing. Was there like a year where you're like, okay, this is 
catching on really quickly or what was there a specific moment so we've been doing events you know for several yeah, oh yeah, years for sure. and we did pinners yeah. so that was in i think we started doing events maybe in 20 20 20 13, 06, 14, 06 oh, or oh, something early. is when we started doing events like oh, the events home and, shows and, and, in, okay. in general so we've been doing it for five or six years then we started utah pinners in 2013 was our yeah. first year and we finished and i remember we were in one hall at yeah. mountain america expo center we finished the event we were in the lobby and i was my it was actually my husband's idea he's so great and he does such a yeah. he's just very creative mind and he's like what if we did something where we brought the influencer the wholesaler you know he just kind of yeah, formulated and then i can i'm an executor so i'm like yes yeah. you know like Let's pull these things together. And um, anyway, we, I was standing in the lobby, and he came out. And I think we cleared maybe $1,000, and we'd been working on this thing for all year. Oh. Like all year. And I was like, oh. And, you know, I'm close to tears, and he just looks at me, and he said, but is it a good idea? Yeah. And I think you can't. You should always look at things and make a decision. I remember Mary Crafts one time said to me, if money was a non-factor, mm -hmm. like if you weren't concerned or you weren't afraid, what decision would you make? Oh, interesting. If you had no fear in that moment, what would you actually decide? Yeah, what's the most pragmatic? Yeah, what yeah. is, is it a good idea? Yeah, and right. when Kendall looked at me and said, but is it a good idea and will it work? You're like, absolutely. And I said, I think every single person who came through here literally loved it. That's right. I'm going to have to replace all these vendors because they didn't make enough money. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like they're, I don't know if they're going to continue to buy yeah, in with yeah, me. Yeah, exactly. But maybe if I you mean, get some new vendors. I mean, hopefully you can. Maybe, and sometimes I think that's part of the retailer's responsibility too to say, but... Was it a good idea for Was me? it a good idea? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Maybe yeah. they don't make the profit that they want in that moment. Yeah. But, but did I make good connections? Did they love me? Now, a week later, they're getting orders. Or that's right. A, that's yeah. exactly right. Now and they have a community. And honestly, year one, I don't know what the kind of what your expectation or what your bar is for year one. But, I mean, honestly, if I hit a break even in year one, I'd be like, okay. We might have something here. Right. Because there's, honestly, you're not typically going to go down from that. Um, that's right. your hardest year. Yeah. And is it a good idea? Can we make this a good idea? And so we just went from there. Well. And then that first year when we decided to add other cities, like I had no business doing that. <laughs> like I don't even know. We didn't know what we were doing. We'd never done any business outside of Utah. Like I don't even, we picked states. Literally, you guys, this is so funny. We picked states based on what kind of, you know, professional sports that they have. Uh, the, and if we could MLB go, if team, we, if we go could to have games. a game. Oh, that like, is hilarious. Like, legitimately. We're like, so oh, Arizona, the Arizona, Texas. Yeah, they have football and baseball. Is where <laughs> they're all in, southern that, states, NBA, right? Yeah. They're all like. We, we can do that. Dallas, great. We can go to football. We can oh, go to baseball. Oh, you guys are diehards. We're like, we are psycho about, I mean, nobody should pick a location based on their business off of the sporting, diamondback schedule. Yes, <laughs> s s sporting event i but know i would think you would maybe pick where like certain brands or businesses no hot no spots. we were no. just like oh what games could we go to and this it's will working be fun. Yeah. right so there, out yeah, of this so the, this name the states that you're in right that's now. that's literally why we went to kansas city 100 percent the chiefs are <laughs> the there chiefs, we're going yeah. yeah i was like that's the only one that's not kind of down you know a little bit lower right right yeah south is really good for us the oh south, interesting by the way um, so they love it. what are some of your different learnings about the different states and what states are you in right now? Um, we are in, we just finished our spring circuit. So we did Kansas City, okay. Atlanta, and then Boise. Oh, yeah. Okay, you got it. And then we did, then we have L.A., yep. um, Dallas, Utah, and Arizona. Okay. That's all. What are some of the differences between the different states? You know, um, we also pick based on food. I, I really love food. <laughs> Okay. These are really bad ways to decide where to do <laughs> That's business. That's all right. 
by the way. Living your best but, life. I'm like, hey, where do we like to eat? Oh, that's what hilarious. What do we like to visit? Where is that? What has good weather? Oh, you that's know? hilarious. Hawaii, is that next? No, yeah. yeah Hawaii's the next I mean, that would be, they don't have really good major league sports, so oh. we're out. Oh, we're no. out on Shit. them. You know? Darn it. They have nothing. They have nothing sporting-wise. So was your second state, was it Arizona? We did Arizona and Texas the same year. You did. So Texas was first. And we went and... What city? Dallas. Right, in Dallas. And we were blown away. I didn't bring enough staff. Like, I can I, imagine you just that don't would be know. extremely busy. You just don't know what you don't know. Yeah. And we had, we had two entrances. We also didn't know the building had two ways to get in. I mean, we had people everywhere. <laughs> and... And beforehand, we'd sold hardly any tickets ahead. Oh, interesting. Like, we didn't, you I didn't mean, know we what were to expect. panicked. Yeah. Right? Like, you're, when you're going somewhere new. Yeah. And luckily. Day of, they just all show up. Yeah. It was chaos and so awesome. And we just realized in that moment, you make adjustments as yeah. you go. And I think that's part of an entrepreneurial journey. You can't be stuck in having to do the same thing. Yep. We have such good people. Like everyone just pulled, to, you know, pulled together. So and how, did things how and what was the great. size of that show compared to the Utah show? Um, On well, it was brand new, but way bigger the first year there than it was here. Yeah. Are they now pretty comparable in size? Um, no, Utah's by far our biggest. Is it really? Um, we had almost 30,000 people last year, which is Crazy. insane. Hence why... I believe the it. third day. Yeah. Elbow to elbow in I there. Was, it, I mean, I'm, really trying to, I'm trying to spread out shopping. People can buy now a one day or two day pass. Do you know what's so. interesting about Pinners is like, like I'm, I'm a normal guy's guy. I'm not, you know, I don't just shop all day or whatever. But sure like, you don't. You're, you're back there I don't there know about office. that, Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, he's in there <laughs> well, surfing the web. I think so, you shop more than Jen. <laughs> you know what? These are just false rumors. <laughs> Well, what's crazy about it is like I go that to that Amazon sh- package is right now. <laughs> that is definitely Jen. On that way. is absolutely Jen. <laughs> so, but what's crazy about it is I go in there and it's, I mean, it's very predominantly women that go. Right. It's like 85% or something. But I'm always wondering like, why do the guys not know about this? Because it's, it's, it's a very, pl- especially in November. Right. When you want something to do and it's getting cold outside. Yeah. And, you know, it's like, it's like a Friday or, or whatever it is. I, it's it's pretty amazing because it's kind of like it's I'm gonna call my weekend. sisters and yeah. I'm, I'm drag my mom up yeah, there and we're gonna have like a we don't want our husbands there. Well, I, look, I tell I'm the going. ladies leave him home. No, I go either way. Spend I don't even more care. money without him. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. What's kind of fun is because especially with people that have kids, right. because it's it's an entertaining thing to do with kids. Otherwise, you have to go to like. The aquarium is going to cost you 150 bucks, you know? It's true. It, we're like, we're very underpriced for our ticket value. That's, that's right. one of our things that we also. Gosh, I just feel like I want people to have an experience. To me, yeah. and I mean, obviously, this is probably coming through. I'm all about the experience. Yeah. That's why I like that's going to sporting events. That's why I go to concerts. Right. I think memories that you can create with your core people, whatever they are, if, you know, I love that people plan for pinners and it's a weekend that they do every year Mm. they get to go learn new things they get to have new experiences every time it's never going to be the same that's right but it's a tradition and it when you can do that with your people you know that's why we do lake pal that's why do you know what i mean like the same thing the tradition of it is just so special and it's meaningful and it's impactful and it makes a difference i feel like just like on the social media platform scale I feel like Pinterest is probably the most family-friendly um, platform that there is. I mean, I don't know. But it, it seems like it'd be a good, it, 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 right. it's a good starting point, Well, right? and for us, you know, we have these moms who bring their little girls, and they just create these great That's right. That's creative memories together. And I honestly, when we started in 2012, yeah. 13, the idea was we wanted people to make that connection. It's where Pinterest comes to life, right? The yeah. things that you're doing and seeing online That's right. are your boards Let's go that test you, it out now. Yep. honestly, it's so funny to me every single time. I went to this class in Georgia. It's so good, by the way, we have, and she's coming this year uh, to all of our cities. Um, I don't know if you've seen that Netflix series called Mind Your Manners. 
It's by Sarah Jane Ho. She's a, oh, uh, um, she grew up in China and America. And so she just basically talks about manners, like oh, how to develop good social oh, that's manners. Cool. That's awesome. And she does a class on this and it's really fantastic. No and so I went to this class in Atlanta and it was so fun. Yeah. Because she was just taking, she was kind of adapting based on what the audience's needs were. And some people were talking about, well, what do you do in this situation in work? And what do you do in this situation in family environment? And even though that wasn't one of the hands-on classes, just a lecture, like you saw these people being so inspired. Oh, yeah. Like, that's really I, cool. That's just so invaluable. When you it have is. a learning moment like that with your core group. Oh, yeah. It's a shared experience. You talk about that for years. Remember when that happened? Like yeah. I made all of our 20 somethings come to the class. <laughs> so I text them because you know they all need manners. Come on, kids. I'm like, everybody gather around. 20 at, you know, 20 and 30. Bring get in here. This is the class. We're in classroom <laughs> seven. Walk Mandated. over here. I need you guys to listen. And it was so cute because afterwards, they've all individually texted me at different times. That was so fun. That That's was really such cool. a great, Memory. I learned yeah. this in that class. I got a question for you. As you kind of go down to the, some of these different states that you're in, do you find like different trends that are happening in certain states with the brands that oh, haven't quite yet? Totally. So tell us, dig into that totally. a little bit for it's us. Totally, so bizarre. By the way, Utah is an, an anomaly, by the way. Um, Everyone here is way better dressed and cares so much more. That's, Nobody cares. My that, cousins that live in Texas, true. they always say to us, you have to tell us what's trending because it doesn't hit Texas for another like two years it and then it's not they cute do anymore. do not even care. In LA where everyone thinks that's the, no, like, it's, it's, they do not care. It's absolutely true. It's, it's, honestly, my wife says that all the time. It's She's, very funny. Yeah. And I, I mean, I appreciate it, you know. Yeah. Like it it's, 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 it's great. So it's, Utah kind of starts the trend and then you'll see it's slowly get I to some feel of these like they care more about the trend not right. necessarily that they're they start starting it, but the trend you have more but they're of it. aware they're just like well this is going to be new this season That's or right. this is are there more influencers there's in way Utah more influencers than, other than utah in, than any other place arizona and utah kind of are they kind of clump together they're similar so yeah. i i was telling someone this this morning in um i feel like our DIY audience in our southern states, yeah. they could, they love it so much. The creating, the making, yeah. the, I don't know if they've just never done it before, but they're just so they all about it. Too, they, yeah. like in Georgia even, all of our classes, all the DIY stuff just fills up instantaneously. They are just like, interesting. Oh, cannot get enough. Oh, interesting. And also in Texas. Yeah. And here... They care more about the shopping and the, the learning. Fashions and all oh, the learning. Maybe they think that they maybe they think that they know already know how to DIY. Maybe. Oh, interesting. You know, I've already done that. I don't. I can take that home and do it or whatever. So it's a smarter. It's a smaller side of the business in Utah than it is. In I mean, ones. the classes fill up here too as well. But yeah. like our kitchen classes are way more popular here than anywhere else. Yeah. It's just a unique I want nuance. To go to some of those kitchen. Have you been to the kitchen the classes? The kitchen yet? classes are so great, you guys. No. So oh, are you I are so you learning about like it's like tricks food and... network in real life. Oh, that's cool. So like for example, like when you're watching a show, right, on TV. Yeah. You can't like ask a question and you don't know exactly the nuance of like if Courtney from Cake by Courtney is teaching a cake class or she's showing something on the internet on yep. her feed it's so different than when she's doing it in person yeah. and you are sitting there with her because she'll say okay but right here is the bad side everyone has a bad side to the cake oh interesting so, yeah. do you know what i mean That's like right. so she's like telling you like how do you adjust to your bad side or these oh, are just little things that come out yeah. in a real in a live class situation that you just don't get any there's no way to do it unless you're live. Are there certain influencers um, in Utah or Arizona that you're, you get a lot of good feedback on from the different brands? As far as the other brands just some, like yeah, them? Yeah, brands like them because they partner really well so with them. So what, not all influencers are created equal. That's right. By the way. Yeah. I think that's an interesting 
nuance so dig that into that first should be aware um some people have results and some people don't. And I think there's there was a trend for a while that a lot of brands were paying a lot of people. Oh, yeah. And they weren't actually getting any results from that. Mm -hmm. I think it's a hard measure. Um, if you're going to do it, I think you should be doing it based on results. I don't think you should just randomly pay someone. Yeah. At all, ever. So do like I a percentage off of sales. Yeah, rather just than have a an affiliate thing. link and have that's them right. be an affiliate person for yeah, you. And if they like bring the in great results, way. then that's great. And yeah. if they don't, then they don't. Yeah, you didn't risk thirty, fifty thousand dollars yeah. or something. I'm interested to know what the application process looks like for the brands, because I assume like you probably get a lot of brands that are You'd interested in joining. You have to vet out the, the ones that are you not guys, too premature. I am what are the re requirements? I'm going to revamp this okay. next year because. Okay. We, in the past, when we first started, we would just... Take everyone. Well, no, not... You had to be a retailer. Okay. Like, I don't want... I don't want your insurance agent. Well, That's every right. retailer. You every would just brand. be like, we, sure. We would look at it and we'd say, yeah, that sounds good. What are you selling? We just... We don't want too much of anything. Right. So, we'd like maybe cap boutiques. And then if we have a certain amount of jewelry people, we'd cap that. You'd just kind of... Mm -hmm. Based on category. Yeah. Um, now, what I'm planning for 2025 is we'll just do an application process and I'm going to have them send me a booth picture. We'll have them put a deposit down. Um, I have a hard time of kicking somebody out of Pinners yeah. who's right. been with us from the beginning. That's right. Yeah. Totally. Like I really, even if their product isn't like the coolest, latest and greatest thing. It's the money that, that started the company. Yeah. It's also, people are buying that obviously. Yeah. Maybe I'm not into it. Yeah. I know that would be hard. Because you know I, I mean? think like, like if I was doing this, I'd be like, be all eh. Anna's favorites everywhere. I love them. Yeah, yeah. I know them. I, I know. know. It is <laughs> but true. you probably have a wide it's so hard. group of people right. helping you, right? We want a variety. Yeah. And I have such a great sales team. And we look at it and we're like, And you have different demographics yes, you're probably appealing to. Yeah. And what's new and yeah. what's something that's never been seen before. I'm like mm. all about that, right? Cool. I want that. Yeah. And then sometimes I'm like, but my pillow guy, I feel bad. I can't just kick him out. Yeah. Totally. Poor guy's been selling a bazillion pills and people like it. <laughs> do you yeah, know what I mean? Right. I don't yeah. even know what to do. That's yeah. right. So. Are there certain brands in some, unique. in some of these states that, you're, that, uh, that we should be giving shout outs to as, as brands to be aware of on the, that could be national brands soon? I mean, my favorite national brand that comes to yeah. Pinners currently yeah. that I think is so has developed a line just for women yeah. and is like adapting into hardcore cleaning products is Ryobi. Oh, interesting. They're a national sponsor. They're sold exclusively at Home Depot. They do deals at Pinners that you can't get anywhere else. Really? And they are developing lines just for women. No way. And people think them as a big tool brand, which they are. Yeah, they are. But I mean, they're not a little retailer, but they're a big retailer. Oh yeah. And this is the only place they sell direct to consumer. No way. Cool. And they have like a kind of a dual purpose vacuum carpet yeah. cleaner thing that they just came out with. That's so cool. And a little, those little vacuums. It's for actually your a boat. really good mix is like, you know, a lot of those you know, Home Depot or Lowe's type brands, right? I mean, for all your DIY stuff, that's that's fascinating. I know it's Ryobi. very cool. I think that's very cool. Um, I think there's one of the brands, and I think they're local. I think they're Utah based. Is Cray Towels? Have you yes. seen Cray? They're Utah um, County. C R A E. They I, are. You know everything. I didn't they're know that. these. They're these awesome, up and coming brand. I think it's great. And their and towels? Their towels and dish microfiber towels. And towels. Microfiber towels. Microfiber towels. They're super cute. They're super great. Really? Okay. They're yeah. really, they've got really great patterns. That's one to keep your eye on. Um, yeah. I think, honestly, when I was talking about our marketing consultant thing, there's, it's all about figuring out the algorithm on Meta. Yeah. That's right. And how you can get to your audience. Yeah. Right? That's right. And what is... You know, what's the value? What's your repeat value? Mm -hmm. And when somebody's thinking of starting a business, mm. that's kind of what you should look at. You should say, okay, how much does my product cost? 
Mm -hmm. Like if you have a really inexpensive product, you better figure out a way to bundle it that mm. your average sale is going to be more yeah. than your $10 product. Yeah. Otherwise you're going to have to sell a billion of them. Otherwise. Yeah. And also it's going to be impossible to market that Yeah. because you can't spend enough to make a dent. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? Like that's not going to work to, to advertise. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to have to, you know, come to a million pinners or whatever, that's going to be your only avenue. It just feels like this is the, 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 the big trend though has gone from a lot of digital spending and, you know, through Facebook and it's gone more to influencers and direct to consumers and shows like pinners where it, it feels like that's where all the biggest brands are getting their biggest return. I mean, all the small to medium brands that are kind of starting up where they're getting 100%. If yeah. you can figure out... I totally think that it's e for any brand, anybody yeah. who has a product, if you can't, if you don't have the budget yeah. to spend on, cause it's expensive to oh, digital yeah. market. Oh yeah. And if your cost per item and your average checkout order isn't like a hundred bucks, yeah. it, you can't do it. You can't afford to do it cause That's it's right. going to cost too much. So you have to do face-to-face -face you, you, marketing. You really do. That's it's, your only way to do it. It's weird how like retail has kind of evolved over the last 15 years. Cause I mean, you started having, that was kind of when it was phasing out with the billboards and outdoor creative and everything was really big for PR using big PR agencies. And now everybody's complaining about PR. And now well, everybody's you can't get any PR. Here's the thing. This is shock. This will shock you. Yeah. I mean, this is shocking to me. We, I hire a PR company in every city. So I hire PR. I also spend a ton of money on my digital marketing. And then I will also try to figure out what are other things there that mm -hmm. to do. So hence why I've decided, okay, I've got to figure out this marketing thing. Yeah. If I can figure it out, then I can grow all the cities to be as big as Salt Lake, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I've got to figure that out. Mm -hmm. So in that process of trying to crack the code, so to speak, I have learned a lot of things. Like PR, some places, like here, by the way, is impossible to get PR. Did mm. you know that? It's all pay to play in Utah. Oh, interesting. It's rare that you're just going to get PR. It just, just naturally. It just is. Yeah. If they think you have any money at all. They will ask you for you it. You have to pay. Like when you're talking about like the local TV shows, local TV, the local, local everything. anything. That's right. You are not going to get it. It doesn't work here. That's right. In Kansas City... I hire a PR guy, Rob. Mm -hmm. He's fantastic. Okay. And Shout I out get, Rob. and every station comes. They all pick it up. Everyone. It's not costing because you. They, it's, because it's good quality content. And yeah. you should, to That should me, be their job, right? To me, yeah. the marketing people, like the whatever, the station should be looking for content. Yeah. Right? In Atlanta this year, it's virtually impossible. I've bought radio. I've bought TV. I've bought everything in Atlanta. Atlanta is your biggest metro um, spend in the whole country. No way. Everyone who needs to hit the urban audience spends in Georgia. Hmm. I cannot spend enough money to make an impact. Oh, interesting. Right? So it's not a good so state for you. So here's the deal. So this year... Okay. So then you have, to adjust, you have to adjust. So this year, what we decided to do is I'm going to put all of my dollars into my digital marketing and be targeting my, like I'm super excellent. My marketing team is super great at figuring out who our audience is, retargeting our people who've already come. We're going to spend there. And then hmm. I am going to do my own PR. Oh, interesting. I'm okay. going to do my own PR. I know the guys. Like your own press releases? Our own press releases, our own stuff. I reached out to Fox myself. Oh, interesting. And I just, and they came. So you're because like I have a relationship already. Yeah. I've spent years developing okay. my own relationships. So you just do your own PR. So what would your advice be own. to those who are trying to achieve that, but don't have those relationships? You've got to take the time to build it. Like literally you've got, and you've got to provide good content. Yeah. 
nobody cares about your brand, actually. They, if, I call, if I called up and said, hey, Paul, coming back to Georgia, Georgia, mm -hmm. love to have you come out and do the morning show with us. Pinners is so cool. They're yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? A lot, yeah. I, Paul, guess what I'm going to do? I have got the coolest things. You are going to learn how to use UV resin. We are going to make a gigantic paper flower. We're going to, do you know what I'm saying? That's right. I am going to give him. Differentiators. Exactly like 10 amazing ideas of things that are going to be experiential, that are going to look super good. I'm going to send him photos. I'm going to send visually, him all this stuff. And, that, and then he'll pick it up. And then he's going to pick it up. However, <laughs> so these are big, huge brands. In fact, I went on. Um, at Fox last year in Dallas, yeah, and we had we did some really great TV, right? Like we're I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you awesome stuff. I promise, no matter what. And once I go with you one time, you're like, yes, I can count on her. Roxanne yeah. calls. I'm gonna. That's right. She's yeah, she's gonna give me good stuff. So Boise, I cannot get them to give me anything. Really? Literally, it is so funny. Your home state. Nothing. Nothing. Why is that? I spent money two times, and then this year, I'm like, they're no. Just, they're just not interested. Why? They, I have no idea. Interesting. It's like they don't even have, in fact, I have a really big, um, one of our brands, she also, she used to be the main anchor in Buffalo, New huh, York. Yeah. She comes and she has, she started a little Etsy shop on the side. She comes to all the pinners, mm. and she called, tried to call all the news desks. Nobody even answered the phone. Oh, my gosh. So it just depends. Really but depends all of the big cities, if you hire the right PR person, Utah's the only pay to play. Apparently, you can't pay or play in Idaho, but in Boise, <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, dude. So let me ask you an operational question for a lot yeah. of it, I don't know if you, it, how, how in the weeds you get to it with, on, on the brand side, but. What are some of their best POS systems for them to be using when they're at pinners to be able to process payments? And what are, what are, I mean, what do I you recommend? I it just depends. Okay. Like we, we have our own ticketing system that uh -huh. we usually use, but in, but Square's always good. Yeah. I mean, I think your fees are really reasonable. reasonable there. I think it has a good tracking. Mm -hmm. I think you can track exactly per, per individual um, sale, you can track product. This is how many we sold of each of those. I mean, I haven't seen anything better than that. So Square is probably for, the highest recommended for you. I like it. Yeah. I think it's Seems easy. like that's what almost all I the vendors are doing. Super, There's a lot, super easy a lot of to people use. are doing the Venmo, obviously. And then yeah, I think that might cause you some issues. It could. I think it might be <laughs> yeah, not I don't know exactly you, legal, but yeah, whatever. It, it, hey, it, it's it, it, yeah, it's true. It's like, how are you doing your books at the end of the year doing the I Venmo thing? I think there's not a good business solution for that. So yeah. I'd be conscientious about doing that. There's so many that do it. There. It's crazy. I mean, They all tax over the place. you. I, I think if you had a certain amount, they come for you and just be like, hey, we there, know what you're we doing. You know there's a business there. You're not just selling <laughs> yeah. your lawn furniture every yeah. other day. I think it's complicated. I would not, if it were me. Yeah. I prefer having everything in one place. Yeah. Well, and who would want to see the analytics? Your, you want to track That's your right. stuff. Yeah. yeah. I don't, Venmo does that. I mean, it's no, impossible. It's not track like, that, I'm no. trying to figure out how much I played the Inventory. cleaning lady yeah, last yeah, week, it was, and it, it's impossible. Yeah, it wasn't to find built for that. Yeah. It's built no, for really quick transaction track. with friends. Yeah. But it's amazing how many people do it. I mean, I feel like a lot of the smaller ones were using Venmo, but I feel like. I don't think it's a good idea. I would figure out a different system. Square is yeah. probably. Yeah. And it integrates well with Shopify, right? It integrates with Shopify. It also, and that's a I mean, great you can. Platform. And most of the platforms, most, most businesses, that's their back end. That's mm -hmm. how they started. Yeah. Are there other, uh, thinking about like the different uh, social media platforms, are there other entities or conferences that have spun out with like Instagram, an Instagram conference or a, I don't know, an X conference or anything like that? Or is it um, not really, is it just not They, I applicable? don't think so necessarily. Yeah. I think um, we, we consider changing our name, you know, because I feel like we can stand by ourselves, you know? Yeah. Um, what we do is unique 
and expensive yeah to run classrooms like we do yeah. i mean just audio visual alone is just crazy crazy and so i think it w is hard for i mean it's great sometimes i think we did a really difficult business i think we're smarter than this maybe we should have done something yeah. a little easier but well, it's hey, funny you mentioned at. you wanted to step away from the magazine and do something to simplify your life a yeah, little bit. Yeah, what you happened had there? Your I child feel, turned 10 and I then know, you... I know, and now I travel the country. And now and it's I'm like, like a different beast. Oh, that's and hilarious. I think at the time with the magazine, yeah. I, was, I was going to lots of stuff. And Jeanette does that, like kind of took on that role. Oh, yeah, for sure. When I quit doing it. And for me, this is a random... And she's so good at it. Honestly, she's so good. And she loves it. And I didn't necessarily love it. Like, but it was do you like, love pinners? I love pinners because yeah. I get to see all, I mean, I go and I'm a two-day, very committed, do I mean, I'm just there. Yeah. Like, okay, so don't here's... call me during those two days because this is what I'm doing. In the... So is there, would you ever consider doing it twice a year in the same city? You know, the reason why I didn't do that, we, before, yeah. we used to do, we ran a women's expo, yeah. and we did it twice a year, spring and fall, and I felt like there was no urgency oh. in it. Like, if I don't go now, it's another it's year. one whole year That's right. until I can do it again. Yeah. I don't want it to get stale. I don't want it to get old. That's I right. don't want it to, Dilute I want it to be that thing that shiny you thing for the do year. not want to miss. That's right. Do you sometimes feel like you've outgrown that center? I don't even know if I could go anywhere else. Like if we went down to Salt Palace, I have the main, yeah. that's why I'm adding this at third day. Yeah. Honestly, no one wants to pay for parking. It's so great yeah. to be able to just do just it park. right here that's at true. Mountain America. It's deal. perfect yeah. for my clientele the trendy soccer mom, so to speak, yeah. it's perfect. And if I can add another day, make it, you know, more convenient, we're going to put more signs. I'm going to tell everyone, if you're willing to walk, you can park across the street, kids. This is not yeah, you're okay. difficult, you yeah. know. Um, but, Because you, you tried it at a different location one year, didn't you? One in 2020, yeah, when I got I, shut down, I had to do the Salt Palace so I could spread people out. That's right, because I thought it I was, went down there once. Yeah, I would it was. Not know. And I've done it twice at the Salt Palace, and it's great. And I like the Salt Palace. Like yeah. for me, I don't. I mean, I don't care. Yeah. I, they're both great locations. But having but it more in consumers. In yeah, because they're more in suburbia anyway, right? They're yeah, more they located in Sandy Mountain than they America. are downtown. Yeah. Yeah. But take tracks. Here's there's options. Tracks literally drops off right there. Oh, that's a great idea. It right behind. The expo center. Oh, that's really it, like, smart. Drops off right there. Okay, so the track. Okay. Tracks is a great way if you don't if you want to avoid the parking situation. Yeah. If um. There's a building across the street. I think it's like um, workers comp building or something oh, yeah. like that. They have like a parking, a parking? garage Jordan that Commons you can park in there. Jordan Commons. Yep. You can park over there. So you should carpool. You know, I'm giving you options. Uh, thank you. Those are a lot of You're good welcome. options. These are all pretty probably good your options. FAQs. Go, yeah. the yes, hot yes. <laughs> Park at Jordan High School. I tried to buy their parking lot and tell them I would pay them. Uh huh. And they're like, no, we're not renting that out. I'm like, I'm going to tell people to park there, so you might as well charge me for that. That's Let me right. pay you for I it. Know. What, who cares? What do they I care? mean, yeah. I went super early. We went with Volcanic this last year, and I thought, like, okay, we're going to be the first ones there. No, we had the same idea as everyone else because once we got inside the building, you guys had us like, I mean, it went really fast. It goes fast. It was super efficient. I was very impressed, but I was like, oh my oh, gosh. Oh, but you panic when you see a line that wraps around the entire building. Oh, for sure. <laughs> for <Yeah>. sure. <laughs> Don't but, panic, but everyone. We, we will get you in. It'll go fast. We got in. It was super fast and it was fine. Yeah, we're systematic. We yeah. got a good system in place. So, so what are the next shows that you have coming up on the calendar? So I take the summer off. Okay. Because you got to get in your games. I got to I got to go to sporting events and go boating. Morgan Wallen. Right. Morgan Wallen concerts. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know, I got some stuff got planned. Some priorities, okay, people? Um, no, we work ahead. So, tickets go on sale for okay. all the fall cities in May. Okay. And then our first event for the fall is in August. 
uh, the end of August in Los Angeles. Then we go to Dallas. L.A., Dallas. Utah, and then really Scottsdale cool. we finish up, which is Do you have another state so that you're great because that's my favorite place to eat. What? Is, do you have another state that you're thinking about? I am. I'm going to go visit a location in on June 6th. See. You want to tell us? It's... Give us some. Yeah, I feel like here's my new idea. Top yeah, secret. It. It's it, this is top secret. It's good stuff. Um, I'm thinking <laughs> Oklahoma City. I love Oklahoma. Cool. I used to live in Oklahoma, and I love it. So I feel like it's the perfect distance. It's three hours yeah. from Kansas City. No, from Dallas. Yeah. Four hours from Kansas City. I think it's a good in between. It's a good city. So for people that have heard of it. It's the right type of people. That they have there. a brand new event center yep. called the Bennett Event Center. Oh yeah. It feels Perfect. like it's oh, right. It is. It does feel right. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet, so I'm gonna go. See Plus, it. they've got the Oklahoma Center, so you could just hang out. They there. do. They do. I could go. They have basketball, NBA. I mean, it doesn't fit my criteria <laughs> necessarily. Well, the Sooners should. It should fit everyone's criteria. I know. They're amazing. But well, that's really cool. Go. So, where do you see? The Pinners Conference going in the next three, four, or five years. Where would you like to see? Um, it my my goal is to really grow our markets that we currently have. Yeah. Um, I don't think I would ever want to have more than ten cities. Yeah. But if I had ten of the right cities, I do love Texas so much. So I might you add may another, throw another one. There. one. Yeah. Throw one down there. Houston or something. Yeah. San Antonio. It's it's really about finding the right. Yeah. Places. So I'm a big fan of Tennessee and South Carolina and North Carolina. You know, are, the Carolinas like my, my are area. so great. If I could do, we talked about doing, um, I, I visited a bunch of arenas in North Carolina. My son went to law school at UNC, so yep. I'm like. You got that, yep. Love it there. Those are like my favorite people. So they, it's so there. great. Yep. It's just so far. It is far, it's but so it's amazing. Far. Because you got, could, you got I Nashville could live there. there. Okay, I mean, can here's you imagine? a great question. Yeah. If you could live anywhere Brentwood, in the country, <laughs> you would live in Brentwood. Yeah. Not yeah. not Franklin. Well, I don't know. There's I don't know. The whole you can't go wrong in Tennessee. It's and same it's same thing with South Carolina. The Carolinas are so great. I've been to all states you, except you, for five. You belong in Tennessee. I think I could live in Tennessee. And, and yeah, and Pinners belongs in Tennessee. I could if I were to live someplace different than here, because it's so beautiful here. By oh, the yeah, way, I is. love it here. It is. But the winter is so. You got rocky topped. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the I mean the winter Mountains. is uh, the winter is crazy, but that's why you travel in the winter. True. Yeah. Just go to Mexico. It's so great. So if that's you were true. to live anywhere, if I were to pick somewhere different, Franklin, Tennessee. To live. I, I could live in Tennessee and I could live in the Carolinas. Yep. I couldn't. I love the weather of California. Yeah. Like it really is because it's desert. I, I don't know because I haven't been in the Carolinas during the summer. Yeah. If it's too moist for me, I'm kind of a dry heat mm -hmm. kind of girl. Yeah. yeah, it is hard. So I might live in Scottsdale because honestly, they have the best food in the whole world. Oh, really? Scottsdale? Yeah. Go one. to the Henry. Okay. What type of food is that? It's literally the best. No no category, favorite. no genre. It's just the best. It's I don't even know. They're pot stickers. I'm all about the appetizers. So yeah. Wow, okay. Yum. The Henry Scott still. Well we're excited. You're gonna love it. We're excited to to uh to have you on and, and uh obviously tons of brands listen to the podcast. And yes. I well, highly, we... highly recommend hitting one of those seven states. And trying it out if you want to actually get a return on your money rather than it's a so inexpensive show. honestly it's the best way to advertise i know and yep make some money yeah, I mean, drive, we had, yeah drive to your your online shop as well it's it's crazy because then you can gather their data and they're going right. to keep coming and That's you right. can market to them That's anyone right. you have their email by the way you don't own any of your social media people you That's don't true. have any control of that that's true gather people's data that's right that's a brilliant that's a great insight I'm like well, ugh, you gotta well, have your own stuff well you're awesome and thanks so much for coming thanks on. for inviting yeah. me we're big, this big, is fun. big fans and obviously think highly of pinners and what you've done and everything Thank else you. so just go set up a shop in tennessee and then we'll all be happy <laughs> i i know i might who knows where i might <laughs> end up living you, yeah. i mean you know well, so if brands are interested in joining pinners yeah, where, where do they, they go? go they're if brands want to come, there is an online form under go to pinnersconference.com, any city, click participate, and there's a form okay. that you can fill out. 
And then I'm going to change the form for next year so that we can have a better selection process right now. Take I'm a like, cute picture of your booth. Make I'm sure like, you have good yes, stuff to yes. apply. And then for your consumers, how do they purchase tickets? Just pinnersconference.com okay. and it will have, there's a big button that says get tickets. Awesome. Done. You should come. Honestly, it's so fun. Yeah, it is it fun. Is, it I is. only shop at Pinners. I got this <laughs> at Pinners. Super cute. I get all my things at Pinners. Do they give you a all discount? All my jewelry. No, I don't <laughs> oh, want yeah. anyone to give me a discount. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a weird, I'm a weird soul that way. I don't. Well, your whole business yeah. is built off of supporting entrepreneurs. That's right. Yeah. Support I, I, I no do question. not need people to give me things. Yeah, I, I totally. that, that's how I feel. I'm like, it's fine, you know, yeah. if, but Super. I am so that's willing amazing. to buy it. Yeah. Because I, I will support you because I like your stuff. Great. Totally. Well, thanks again for coming on. Yes. Thank, Thank you for having me.